So now further moving towards your Raman effect when a system interacts with the radiation of frequency V0 it may make an upward transition to a virtual state. A virtual state is not one of the stationary states of the molecule. Most of the molecules of the system return back to the original state from the virtual state which correspond to your Rayleigh scattering. This is your ground state moving towards the virtual energy states. So a small fraction may return to states of higher and lower energy giving rise to the Stokes and anti-Stokes line respectively. Now we will talk about the applications of Raman spectrum. The spectrum is widely used in almost all branches of science. Raman spectra of different substances enable to classify them according to their, to their molecular structure. In industry, Raman spectroscopy is being applied to study the properties of materials. This spectrum is used to analyze the chemical constitutions. The sample is the via the lens the spectrometer is used. This is spectroscopy and laser is passed from here. So this is your Raman spectroscopy and this spectrograph is visualized here in the computer. This is how we are able to analyze the molecular structure and this is a major usage of Raman spectrum. Thanks for watching a GTEC video from GTEC company. Thank you.